Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're in a very unique space on Battleship New Jersey. We are directly below gun turret number two and uh, sitting on the top of the triple bottom. So this is as low in the ship as you can go that's habitable. And then uh, right over our heads, is 2,200 tons of rotating 16-inch gun turret. This space is where all of the electrical power going into the gun turret comes from the engineering spaces and then goes up. Each turret features a central stalk in the middle. And that stalk is basically the armored tr wiring trunk where all of this power is. This is the power that's going to run um, everything from so small as lighting circuits and outlets all the way up to the big rotation motors and the three elevation motors and all of that stuff. So that is all coming in here from multiple directions. Everything's duplicated. Each turret draws its power from at least two different places. So turret one uh, and turret two draw their power from either engine room one switchboard or engine room two switchboard. Uh, so I suspect some of these big wires coming from two different directions. We've got some from engine room one coming up one of the catacombs, some from engine room two coming up one of the other catacombs. That way if we take a hit and it severs that one, you just close that circuit, open, or open that circuit, close the circuit on the other side to bring that online. Uh, likewise, turret three can draw its power either from engine room three or engine room four. Uh, so again, everything's duplicated. It's critical that these come up the center of the turret. So remember, the turret is a rotating structure. We can't just have these coming up anywhere because then they will get pulled uh, too far as the turret rotates. You can see that each of the cables is pinched in place with these Bakelite uh, brackets that are sandwiched together to hold the wires in place, keep them from being pulled out. And then uh, they are wired into their boxes. They've got the metal brackets like a normal cable, but those are what keeps the turret from rotating too far and pulling it. Battleship gun turrets um, cannot rotate 360 degrees. That just puts too much strain on this as, as they're getting twisted up. So on an Iowa class battleship, they can only rotate about 270 degrees in either direction. And there are stops in place that keep it from going too far one way or the other. Uh, in theory, if you didn't have those stops in place, if you didn't have power like this, and if you didn't have a superstructure in the way, uh, the motor doesn't know any better. It doesn't have any stops in it. It will just keep trying to turn the turret to the right um, as long as possible. Uh, but obviously in practice, you got too much stuff in the way. So for similar issues, the turrets do not have any plumbing. You can see there is this one pipe that goes directly up the center. And uh, I'm honestly not sure what that is, if that's hydraulic fluid, if that's water, uh, what. It's uh, clearly not insulated, uh, which probably means it's not steam or uh, constantly running water, um, which leads me to think that it's hydraulic fluid and possibly even a drain as opposed to something pumping water, uh, what, like 60 feet? from here on the bottom of the ship up into the turret somewhere. So what do you do for water? Well, most of the ship has its heat coming from steam from the boilers. The turrets don't have any steam radiators in them because you can't run fixed pipes into a rotating structure. Uh, so they've got electric heaters in them. Uh, likewise, if you need to flood the turret, uh, you've heard of flooding the magazines. The turret is full of the shells that the guns fire. The ship has uh, reservoir tanks up inside of the gun house. And uh, those, if you hit the flood switch, 
which is manually hit from inside the turret, um, it will just gravity feed out of those tanks and down through the sprinkler systems in the various gun pits, on the shell decks, places like that. Uh, so what you have in the turret is all that you have. And when the turrets are fixed in place, you can use a hose hooked up to the fire main or something like that to top off those tanks if stuff evaporates or if, God forbid, you have to use them. So what other weird and unique spaces do you want to see in future videos? Let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.